Hey, my friends, it's Jay Todd coming to you from the Fremont Street Experience in Las Vegas. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. This week in gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hello everyone, welcome to This Week in Gambling. My name is Jay Todd and I'll be your host for the duration of this program. On this show, we've got stories from tribal gaming interests here in America, plus a big I told you so for the state of New Jersey. But first, this week's big story. I've been telling you guys since this show started back in April that social gaming and online gambling have been on a collision course. Facebook confirmed what I've been saying all along this week with the launch of their new Bingo Frenzy application where players in the United Kingdom can compete for real money stakes. Not only that, but Facebook has confirmed that they're going to be rolling out virtual slot machines over the next several weeks. Yeah. So all of you Facebook shareholders that have been watching your stock whew, plummet, good thing you held on to them, huh? Looks like it could be about ready to take off. No word on a launch date for these real money games here in the United States, but uh, come on, people, don't hold your breath. If and or when Facebook ever gets around to launching these real money platforms here in America, trust me, You'll hear about it. By the way, it looks as if tribal gaming interests here in the United States are finally getting on board with this whole online gambling thing. Not only are they planning to get into the industry, but there's a ton of questions circulating around if the U.S. government could prevent them from doing so if they decide to take the plunge. Last month, the Seven Cedars Casino in Washington State announced that they had developed a mobile application in cooperation with Bally Tech. And just last week, another Washington State casino, the Tulalip, was in Washington, D.C., speaking on behalf of tribal gaming to make certain they had equal footing in online gambling. Boy, how the winds of change are blowing. Who knows? Maybe I should just drive on up to Washington State and talk to the Tulalip and the Seven Seaters and find out what's going on up there. Huh. We'll be back right after the break with a big I told you so for the state of New Jersey and a sports betting update from SBR Forum. Like us, then join the conversation on our Facebook page. Interact with show hosts and other viewers. Leave suggestions and topics for future programs. Visit facebook.com slash This Week in Gambling. Hey, Smart, you book your room yet? Nope. See, Hotels.com has over 20,000 last-minute deals every week, so I get a great deal no matter how long I wait. Yeah, I'm not very good at waiting. Then we must train you to wait. <laughs> Time to book, mm. Grasshopper. Ooh. Now it's okay to wait. Get great deals even at the last minute. Hotels.com. Be smart. Book smart. Hey, welcome back. Um, before I forget, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say that, uh, this is going to be my last show for a couple of weeks. I'm taking a miniature summer vacation slash rest and relaxation on doctor's orders. Kind of give my uh, ticker a chance to recuperate some after my health scare a couple weeks back. So uh, you won't be seeing me again until about um, 
August 29th or thereabouts. So while I'm gone, enjoy the quiet. Also, several months ago, the state of New Jersey decided to expand sports betting in that state, a move which I came on the show and stood right here. Well, actually, it was, it was more like, I was more like right here. But, but you get the point. I came, I came to this approximate spot, and I told you this was going to meet with a lot of legal opposition. This week, New Jersey was sued by the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, the National Hockey League, and the NCAA. What, the professional bull riders didn't want to get in on the action? I mean, come on, it's not like New Jersey could not have seen this coming, huh? Maybe they want the fight. Maybe they want to set some precedent. I don't know. I'm not a legal expert. I know there are arguments on both sides that make sense. But one thing I do know for certain, it's going to be a fun fight to watch. And now, with more from the world of sports betting, here's the man that makes my heart go pitter-patter, Peter Loshak of SBR Forums. Wow, was that a heart attack joke? I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks, Jay. And you know, it's really great to see you doing well again and back in business. When I heard about what happened to you, I was truly shocked. I guess I just thought that heart attacks only happen to people who are old and decrepit looking. But after hearing what happened to you, I now realize that they can happen to people of any age who are decrepit looking. Age is just a number, and the main factor is how decrepit looking someone is. So maybe we should have seen it coming. I don't know. But the point is, I'm, I'm very glad you're fully recovered and doing well, because we need you in this industry, Jay Todd. We need you until the gambling industry is completely rid of scumbags and scammers and hypocrites. So that should only take about six more months. So if you can just hang on for that long, we'd all appreciate it. Again, what, what I'm trying to say here, Jay, is it's great to see you doing better, and we're all very relieved that you're okay. All right, so on to sports betting for the upcoming week. The Major League Baseball regular season is continuing. The dog days of August, which is personally one of uh, my most profitable times of the year to bet. That's going on uh, these next few weeks. Then there's also a UFC coming up this weekend, UFC 150, which features the rematch of Frankie Edgar and Ben Henderson. Henderson won the first fight by decision, a decision that most agreed with, but some disagreed with. Some thought Edgar won, and Henderson is a solid favorite of about minus 170 this time around. And we previewed the entire main card of uh, UFC 150 at SBR Forum videos with Nick Khalid as a professional MMA odds maker, so check that out if you're interested. And then in golf, the PGA Championship, the last of the four major golf tournaments every year, starts on August 9th. The favorite to win it all is Tiger Woods, currently at 9-1 to one at Pinnacle, and Tiger is also currently about minus 150 to make the top 20. And then the NFL preseason is underway, and we've been discussing betting the NFL preseason extensively at SBR recently. The NFL preseason is actually a great betting opportunity for some people, which may come as a surprise to you, uh, but it's true. There are a bunch of articles about uh, why that is on the front page of SBR Forum this month, and we've also been discussing it in many threads at the Players Talk and the NFL Handicapping Forums at SBR. So come check all that out if you want to find out more about handicapping and betting the preseason in NFL, Jay Todd. And that's what's on tap in the next few weeks of sports betting. Back to you, pal. Here's to you. You know, uh, I had a show on YouTube once. I did. I was, I was successful. And now look at me. Of course, of course, you've fallen a long way yourself, apparently. That's not my ferret.